Hare Krishna. Many times when people irritate us, enrage us, uh, hurt us, at that time we want to hit back at them. And we, if we have, we may feel, how can this person be so uncontrolled, so insensitive, so horrible? And even if we have a little philosophical understanding, we may say that this person has such a wild mind, such a, such a uncontrolled mind. And why does this person listen to their mind so much? We, even if with a philosophical vision, we might say that no, you should learn to mind your mind. Yes, it's good to instruct people for minding their mind, but before that we need to learn to mind our own mind. That means we need to recognize that if we don't mind our mind, then we will get into trouble. And whatever trouble others have caused, we will multiply that trouble by our own inaction. And that's why it's vital for us to learn to mind our mind first. The Bhagavad Gita says, Samam Pashyan Hi Sarvatra Samavasthitam Ishwaram Nahinastyatmanatmanam Tatoyati Param Gatim Samam Pashyan Hi Sarvatra So see all living beings equally. Samavasthitam Ishwaram in all living beings in the body, the soul is situated, and next to the soul, the super soul is situated. Then we won't degrade ourselves with our mind. We will attain the supreme destination. So suppose we are driving along a road, and at that time, suddenly, somebody just drives wildly and comes in our way. Now, certainly, we need to tell them to drive carefully. We, need to, we may even need to take some action against them, report them to the police or whatever. But when their car is out of control, the best thing and the first thing that we need to do is to make sure that our car doesn't go out of control. That say, if they hit us and we get angry and we hit them, that will make things worse. So therefore, no matter how out of control somebody else's car is, we need to begin by making sure that our car stays in control. And others out of control car shouldn't make us let our car go out of control. That means others uncontrolled mind. We can say the mind and the body are like their car. And when their mind goes uncontrolled, then their body also goes uncontrolled. Their tongue goes uncontrolled and they speak or do crazy things. So it's important for us to recognize that even if their car is out of control, our car should not go out of control. We should make sure that our body mind stay regulated and stay purposeful. We, we speak properly, we act properly. That way, at the very least, we won't make things worse. We won't hurt ourselves further than whatever that other person has done. And we can work to make things better. So mind your own mind before you mind others' minds. So mind your mind. Certainly you can mind others' minds, but first we should mind our own mind. And then if they want us to help them, then we can help them mind their mind. If they say they genuinely don't know how to drive the car, then we can tell them you have to drive like this. But if they don't care, they are drunk, uh, they are crazy, then we can't help them. We just get out of our way. So we can't let them get to us. We need to make sure that we stay fixed in our principles and our purposes and maneuver our way towards our destination irrespective of how others are driving or misdriving. Thank you. Hare Krishna.